All right, so I really want to uh, I want to talk about something that means a lot to me today. It's become a big part of my life. Before I do that, I just want to say that you know I'm praying for the people in Houston right now. This is uh, you know really really just I can't put into words how bad this is right now. I mean. I, I, I try to stay away from the news as much as possible, but uh, at the same time, not be oblivious to the things that are going on in this world. So this this is one of those events you really can't help but see what's going on. And and uh, and just, you know, my heart goes out to the people out there. So I really pray that they're able to get through this because uh, it's tough. What I want to talk about today is gratitude. Gratitude is something that uh, I'm a firm believer in. I believe that gratitude is the strongest emotion that we can put out there. And especially in a time like this with the things that are going on in Houston, you know, it's it's very important that I can sit back and I can say, man, you know, I'm I'm really grateful for the things that I have. You know, I'm, I'm grateful for the fact that I'm able to right now record this video and I'm not, you know, underwater right now and that my house isn't underwater and that I was able to get my kids off to the first day of school today. You know, those little things that sometimes we take for granted, the ability to walk out here, you know, and, uh, and record this video. There's, there's people that don't have that ability, but no matter where you're at in this world, there's always something that you can be grateful for, even if it was just waking up today. Because every day that we wake up, we've got a chance to get better. Every day we've got a chance to get better. I find a lot of inspiration from watching a lot of press conferences when it comes to sports, right? I told you I'm a huge Bucks fan, and I really enjoy listening to these press conferences a lot. Uh, I like hearing what a lot of them have to say. And if you can kind of get through the robot talk, which we see a lot of because they're trying to be so politically correct and not have the world jump down their throats, you'll find that that there's some hidden gems in there. Um, A a lot of really good motivation. And one thing I always hear quarterback for the Bucks, Jameis Winston say is that every day he's trying to get better. Every day. You may not be there. You may not ever get where you really want to get but you're going to keep trying to get better every single day. And I'm trying to get better every single day. So when you have the ability to wake up and get better, that's something that I can be thankful for. Now I have a lot that I can be thankful for. I'm very blessed. I've got, you know, an amazing mom and dad. They're, they're not married. They got divorced when I was very young, but through it all, they've always gotten along very well and they've always been there for me. And, uh, I'm very grateful for that. I'm grateful for my kids, I'm grateful for my wife. There's a lot of things that I have to be grateful for. So gratitude is just something that is is really big. And I feel like a lot of my life, I wasn't really grateful enough for the things that I had. And that the more that I show gratitude and the more that I appreciate the things that I already have, the more that the good things start to come my way. The less that I complain, and the more that I'm grateful, it's generally how it starts to come back to me. The more that I complain, I see more of those same things happening. The more that I'm grateful for, the more that I see those things start to happen. Gratitude is such a huge emotion. It affects people so strongly. I mean, think about when somebody has really thanked you. Like, I mean, like tears falling from their eyes because they thanked you. That is powerful. I mean, that is powerful. You can't, I mean, I don't know how many things in this world can make you move the way that somebody truly thanking you and being appreciative of you doing something for them. And it could be just you being there for them and listening to them, or, you know, maybe you bailed them out of something, you financially, you know, whatever it was, you know, you helped somebody out and they gave you that kind of emotion, that kind of gratitude, you felt it. And, uh, And it's just something that's very big on my list. It's something that I care deeply about because I think if if we as a society spent more time being grateful for the things that we already have and and stop complaining about the things that we don't have, we or stop complaining about the the problems that we do have, uh, just in general, that that we would have a different outlook on life, that 
we would start to reprogram our minds and uh, you would start to see good things continue to happen. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's very big for me. Um, I, I, you know, I have to catch myself sometimes and make sure that, you know, I'm taking time to, to really appreciate the things that I have, you know, but every time I pray, that's, that's the first thing I start off with is thank you, God. It's the first thing that I start off with is, is gratitude and being, you know, appreciative of the things that I have in this world. And no matter where you're at, no matter how bad it seems, there's always something you can be grateful for. So take time out of your day to show gratitude. Take time out of your day to appreciate the things that you do have, things that you have that maybe somebody else doesn't have. You know, take time out of your day to say, you know what, I'm, I'm grateful that, you know, I'm not having to go through this stuff in Houston, you know, and and pray for the people that are going through it. But gr- be grateful that that you're not having to go through it. And if you are one of those people in Houston, which I highly doubt you're watching this video right now, but my prayers go out to you. And, and I really hope that these people can get through this because I wouldn't wish this on on anybody but um but that's really you know what i wanted to talk about was just how important it is because i really i I think that it's it's a big deal and and when you listen to to anybody who is you know motivational speaker or anybody that's really made it generally they'll tell you how big gratitude is and you can tell when you meet somebody or talk to somebody who's big on gratitude, they may not even realize it, but they'll, they'll say thank you so many times, right? I remember I worked in a call center and I could always tell who was big on gratitude because they'd say thank you like 10 times during the conversation. And, uh, and I always got a kick out of it because I, I started to recognize it and I started to see the people that were big on gratitude because they know that gratitude can can make things happen if you show gratitude to somebody and you show how grateful you are for whatever they did to you uh, or however they helped you or whatever the chances are they're going to be more inclined to help you again because they know how much it meant it wasn't just well they helped you out and you were just ah whatever all right cool you really had an impact on them when you showed them that gratitude so my message is just to try to be grateful for the things that you have if, if it was just waking up today be grateful for that for me like I said I've got a lot to be grateful for I've got a lot of things to be thankful for and even on my worst days there are still things that I can be grateful for and I, I, I truly believe that it, it can have a huge impact on our lives and it can impact the direction that we go and it can help us to keep moving forward because that's what, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get better every day. I'm trying to keep moving forward, trust the process, and have faith in God. I'm trying to reach big things, trying to do things. And along the way, I'm going to be grateful for everything that I do have already. And grateful for everything that will come. So, that's about it. Talk to y'all later. Keep moving forward, trust the process. I'm out.